Okay, so this week's update is pretty much um, figuring out how the chroma key green screen in a usable way for Unreal Engine. Um, so right here I have, you know, a video, you know, just search for green screen video of, you know, free green screen video. Anyway, so I got this uh, clip, you know, this line. And pretty much what I uh, originally was trying to do is I was trying to bring into After Effects, uh, not After Effects, Unreal Engine, and I was trying to use the built-in um, chroma key programming nodes, and I wasn't getting good results. Um, I'm sure there is a way to get good results, but I just wasn't. Uh, for the time that I've put in so far to it. So instead I found a way in After Effects um, to do the keying in After Effects, save it out as a PNG sequence, and then bring it into Unreal Engine, turn uh, the sequence into um, Was it called sprites? Yeah. Okay. Turn them into sprites, and then turn the sprites as a group into a flipbook. Um, so I'll sp give a quick visual of all the steps, real quick. Okay. So in After Effects, you know, just use key light. It's pretty simple. Then um, for export settings. Just add it to the render queue, which I have it down here already. So in the render queue, um, you know, main things I changed was change it to PNG sequence, RPG plus alpha. Oh wait, oh, I guess you can't see that. It's on the second monitor. Um, okay, so the main things I did was um, I changed it to PNG sequence and RPG plus alpha. Um, and then I gave it a location, rendered it out, and that brought me a ton of images. I didn't actually do the whole YouTube video because that would have been a whole lot more. I figured this was good enough for a test. And then I copied all this into a folder uh, that I made within Unreal Engine which right there so I just made a PNG line folder and then um, with them all still highlighted went to create sprites here and then once the sprites were created and all the sprites are highlighted create flipbook um, flipbook is pretty much just lining up all the little images in order um, which I don't know much about flipbooks yet so I'm thinking next week I'm going to look into um, flipbooks, sprites, um, what you can and can't do with them, and uh, keyframing animation of objects within the scene. Um, like I have a theory of how to do it if there's not a built-in way, but I'm pretty sure there's a built-in way. Uh, if there's not a built-in way, I'm sure I could parent um, the flipbook, which is this guy, to a camera, a, a spare camera, and then move around that way, I'm pretty sure. So um, you can see I have a scene here, and then, um, like say it was at ground level, uh, I guess I don't have to be that low, but you can see it's like Lion is in the environment. Um, and he's amongst the grass, and obviously I'd have to keyframe to keep him level to the ground as he's walking, but, uh, you know, you can get some rotation, which, you know, I'm surprised you can get that much rotation and still looks good. Um, and yeah, obviously you can't go that far. But anyway, um, 
So that was pretty much it for this week. I spent a whole lot of time trying to problem solve um, Unreal Engine's built-in chroma keying, which, uh, for my purposes, for video making purposes, seems to be unnecessary. Only if I was to get into uh, game making or VR of some sort, might it be necessary? Um, but probably not even. I could probably do that for this kind of stuff for that too. It'd be more um, live VR or live AR that uh, could be an issue of not using live chroma key um, or something like that. Anyway, so that's it for this week. Next week, looking into sprites more, looking into flipbooks more, what you can do with them, what you can't and looking into ways of animating things because right now I just have the line in the scene. I want to move them around and get them, you know, level up and down and all that kind of stuff, uh, which I'm sure is a simple way, probably, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this week.